Hi there. Welcome back to another quick and easy watercolor painting. And uh, today it's kind of a bright, beautiful sky out there. So it's early spring, but uh, bright, beautiful sky. So I'm just going to put a little bit of blue on like that. And I'm not going to try to augment that too much more than that. I'm going to build up uh, some trees kind of off in the distance at the top part of this hill. So we're going to put a little bit of uh, Payne's Gray in there. And if you notice, I'm just tapping the brush. And I'm trying to get that color to, I'm trying to get this Payne's Gray to move off into that wet area that I established with the sky. So my general rule is I try to build up the sky and then uh, anything in the distance I sort of put into that sky area with uh, some Payne's Gray. And I'm just going to put a little bit of Payne's Gray across here. I'm actually going to pick up a little bit of Payne's Gray very intensely across there. I'm going to try to build up some uh, con contrast between light and dark across here. So that's why I'm doing that. Now I'm going to pick up this yellow ochre and I'm just going to give it a little swoosh like that across there and again here and you'll see that Payne's Gray will work right into that yellow ochre. I'm going to pick up some more yellow ochre and give it another little swoosh like that. I'm not going to clean this brush out. I'm going to put this brush right into my sienna here and I'm going to give it a little bit of a sienna kick across there. Now I'm going to go back to this tree line that I established back there before. I'm going to rinse my brush off, dry it off a little bit, and I'm going to pick up some more Payne's Gray. And I'm going to tap that into that tree line before it dries up too much. And you should see that that should start to carry off into that water. Now, I'm going to put some, I'm going to scrub, use my, this is my number one watercolor brush and I've sharpened the one end of it. And I'm just going to put some foliage in here by scribing a few lines like that. Pull a few lines out of that paint's gray there and maybe a few lines out of that sienna. Okay, see how that's starting to bleed way back and you have these two different tree lines back there. That's what it is that we're going for. Now I have a little bag of salt here. I'm just gonna get a pinch of salt and I'm just gonna drop it across this front area in a few places, just to add some visual interest to that. And now we're gonna let this whole thing dry, okay? Don't touch it, don't try to augment it, don't do anything to it other than just let it dry. Got a little bit more salt on my hand. All right, let it dry. All right, so I took my hair dryer and I dried that all up. I'm gonna grab some yellow ochre here. I'm gonna push the yellow ochre right up to that line and all the way across there. I'm gonna do the same thing all the way along there. And then I'm gonna rinse this brush out. I'm gonna pick up some of this sap green. I'm gonna put the sap green right across there. So we're trying to build up layers with our color. And I'm gonna just let that completely dry and see what we get okay don't try to augment it too much just let it bleed out to wherever it's gonna go let's dry this up and see what we get all right look at all this in the front here all this these blooms and this bleeds that all look like different look like different uh, vegetation and all we really did was just drop salt on that these tree lines look like they're way off in the distance, way, way off in the distance. And these different blooms on here, very cool. What happens when we put our mat on here? Yeah, that's awesome, if I do say so myself. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's kind of exactly what it was I was thinking about, sort of a bright day, early spring. You can see adding this little bit of green on here just makes it into spring. All right, thanks for watching. If you're currently a subscriber thanks a lot and if you're not currently a subscriber please consider subscribing to my channel i'd love to hear from you i'd love to know where you're from please uh drop me a comment and let me know where you're from i'd love to know where
people are watching me from. It's uh, super interesting to me. I hope you have a great day painting. See you again next time.